day seven yesterday, drove over to Nashville. It was long, but only come second behind drive from Gulf Shores to Sanibel Island. First thing, got gas, cause I needed to do the second thing there, wipe the bugs off my windshield. There's bugs galore on that drive. Afterwards, went to go charge my batteries, I was able to talk to Stacy and Riley about what to go do. They offered multiple things, and the closest one that they both insisted on that I must go do, Walk Centennial Park. What's so great about this park? Well, I later came to find out it's part of Vanderbilt University, school we compete in with baseball once a year, so not too big of a rival, but we do compete with them. And walking around, I started to become jealous of their park. It's beautiful. They have statues of historical markers where women fought for the right to vote. And the best part, the world's only full-scale Parthenon that has a full-scale Athena inside it. Parthenon wasn't open last night, so I came back this morning, took a look inside. It's filled with vibrant paintings, history of the building, and replicas of other Greek statues. Next stop was to go down Broadway. I drove through it, but I was really tired that night from the drive, so I called it a night. Next morning, when walking through downtown, it's where Broadway is. There's music shops, there's bars, there's other little antique shops. The first stop for me, the Music City Walk of Fame, featuring stars from past and current. After the stars, right across the street or a few blocks down, was John Siegenthaler Pedestrian Bridge going over the Cumberland River, which brought me high enough up to look over the entire city. Breathtaking view. Next stop, Louisville, Kentucky, home of the Louisville Slugger. Got there, normally they have tours of 40 to 50 people. My tour, five of us. Really got to see in detail the entire making of the bat by a hand spinning it, which takes about 30 minutes by someone who really knows what they're doing, to a machine that's built for the miners and below, to an even bigger machine that the majors order from to really get that precise detail that their swings need to have. They produce thousands of bats a day. And those machines are very much needed or they'd have a lot of people hand spinning a bat at 30 minutes a piece. I skipped it in Nashville because I don't do spicy, but it was on my mind in Louisville. Number two on TripAdvisor, right behind a restaurant that closes early, Muscle and Burger Bar. You'll never guess what they sell. Muscles, burgers, and they have a bar. Their number one burger, the Argentinian with provolone, onions, two different types of patties, I had a side of sweet potato fries. Follow it up, a nice dessert. I'm not entirely sure what it was, but I'm gonna call it the equivalent of a liquid creme brulee. It's what it kind of tasted like. Tomorrow we head out to Fayetteville, West Virginia. Got a surprise stop just east of there. Don't know if we'll make it tomorrow or the next day, but I'm looking forward to it. Follow me live on Snapchat at D underscore Graham 013 or the map and I'll have that link down below.